Okay, this is uh, what people had become familiar with is the Sokka Mini Max, and I'm really going to try to simplify things. I'm going to put out another video, but a couple of you guys were asking some questions right away. So this is, and now the Sokka is trademarked. Uh, so basically a Sokka. Now it's different than the original Sokka. I will never make a original Sokka because this is so much better than the original Sokka. It does, um, it performs better and it's more versatile than the original Sokka. So there, there would never be a reason for me to ever make an original Sokka. And this is better and I'll explain why. First of all, um, they're going out now as I'm able to with a modified foot loop. Before, it didn't have this um, little bungee that goes through there. So now it's got the same elastic. I'll put that elastic through my lace if I want. Uh, some guys, uh, if you find it difficult, if you're the kind of guy that wants to put your uh, foot in every climb, I put this on my boot and I leave it there. But if you don't want to use that elastic part to keep it on your boot, then don't. But what this does is this allows you to close up that loop. It's also got um, sewing at the top to keep it narrow for this small carabiner. So just size it to your boot to where you like it. And then just put an overhand knot through there and it'll keep that loop um, where you like it rather than having it wide and flopping around on the boot and stuff like that. So there's extra bungee. I have a little sock, the extra bungee and the extra tether can wrap up underneath there. Um, this is the buckle that allows you to adjust the length of this. It can go clear up here. It can go clear down here. So depending on the kind of stride you want that day, whether you want to run or walk, you can adjust that stride. There's, uh, I've gone back to putting a kind of a part Velcro. The Velcro doesn't go the full length, but the Velcro now, the soft side and the hard side Velcro, keeps that all oriented on here so that it doesn't come off. Now let me point out, because these are separate, this is tension. This is the weight-bearing member of the Sokka. This is the tending member of the Sokka. This bungee guide has a tending force only. And what's cool about that is that now, because this has got a slot, it only lifts the ascender up. It doesn't push it up from the bottom. Why is that important? Because this always has tension, this always has compression, they don't alternate back and forth. If, like I, in, in another design I had, if this is pushing up from the bottom, every time you take a step, this pushes up, so that squishes it down, and then this stretches it back out. Um, there's a loss of efficiency because you have to push that cam up, and so... Um, I think this is a lot better. I run mine kind of short because I attach this to my bridge. Um, sometimes I'll shorten my bridge where I don't hardly even have a bridge and so I'll use it short like that. So um, a lot of guys if you're using a chest harness you might want this um, kind of length. But notice how much stretch I get out of this now and that's one of the great things about um, some of the revisions I've made, I'm always trying to make it better, but that's one of the great revisions is that we've adjusted a few things and we get some incredible stretch out of this. So you can go with that length. This is basically with all of the length taken out. So if you do this, you know, I can't even, I can't even hold it enough to get all of that stretch so I don't know you might want to put it around your whatever but uh, incredible stretch with the uh, adjustability that you have on there so with my bungee really short um, I'm gonna stretch this down this will go about 30 inches even that even in the shortest uh, setting 
I get 30 inches. That's a pretty giant step. If you can take a 30 inch step with one leg and stretch that out, you're probably a pretty um, long legged guy. So when I pull this down, I'm seeing already two pounds. There's three pounds, four pounds. Of course, it increasingly gets a little bit more. Four, five, six. And now you can see where it's starting to bottom out. And it's clear down here at 30 inches from where I started. And then it goes whatever. And I've actually, this is Dyneema with a solid rubber core. I don't think you'll find a better bungee than that. Um, and I've actually tested this and it'll hold my weight. Not that it would, you'd want to do that, but it's incredibly strong. All right, I've just stretched this out. I put a little bubble wrap up here to keep it from slamming too hard. But I've just stretched this out a little bit. Not all the way. If I go all the way down, it's that's kind of bottomed out. So I'm going to come back up a little bit uh, from bottomed out. And some of you are like, well, is it responsive enough? And we'll just give this a little test and see if you can raise your leg this fast. I don't know. You'd have to have a pretty quick leg to beat that. So one of the things that makes it so versatile um, is that this comes apart if you pull it apart. Now, in normal use, that won't come off because you're not supposed to be, and it doesn't. this doesn't get pulled down. It's got this. This is not a rip or anything. It's a notch, and it fits in that pin. So you can take this off. The Velcro helps keep everything oriented, but... And taking that off, now this turns it into basically the mini. And um, I get a lot of requests for this, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But the picture you showed me with the two side by side, the Sokka and the Sokka Mini, I want to kind of clarify that. So this is, this is the Sokka, which you can turn into... This is the Sokka, which you can turn into a Sokka Mini by taking that bungee guide off. So, what you are also showing, this is the Sokka Mini, has would have the foot loop down here, the adjustable tether. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is make this bungee available. This was a really good stretch bungee. A lot of people liked it. Um, and it's going to come with a carabiner, so it's just easy to attach the carabiner. And then you can tie another carabiner on the, put it over your shoulder. All kinds of different ways you can configure that. If somebody wanted, they could tie this end to the ascender as well. But that gives you the option of taking things and swapping them out. I'm still kind of a little undecided about how I'm going to do that. If a, a guys keep requesting the Sokka Mini, then maybe I'll just make the Mini available again. I know some guys really like that. Um, so.